welcome to how to customize your MacBook with the new Mac OS Sonoma update. I can't believe this is the fifth MacBook customization video that I've ever done. So if you guys haven't watched the previous four parts, go watch those because a lot of things I'm doing in these new tips are going to reference things that you have to know from the other tips. So I will have all four of those videos linked down below and you can just sort through those and customize your MacBook and then come back to this one. I am just so excited. This new update is so fun. There's a few new things and then I also just have tips that I've been collecting since my last video that aren't necessarily related to Mac OS Sonoma. But I am just so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get right on into this. But first, make sure that you guys subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out truly. And then also follow me on Instagram. I'll have everything down in the description for you. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and get started. First off, before we do anything, you have to obviously update your MacBook. So to do that, you're going to head up to the Apple in the top left corner of your screen, and then you'll go System Settings, General, and then Software Update, and it'll be right there waiting for you. So go update that, and then come back to this video. All right, so here is the first wallpaper combination that I'm showing you. So get a good look at it. I'm going to show you how to do this, and then I also have another one that I'm going to show you um, that kind of goes along with each of the tips, just a pink vibe. So. First, we'll do fall though. Step number one, if you can't tell, my cursor is a different color. I'm so excited, it's so cute. I changed it to be fall colors, so kind of matching with my vibes going on here. So we're gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna go down to your system settings. Then you'll head to accessibility, then to display. And then down here where it's pointer, you can change the pointer size, the outline color, the fill color, so I will reset it. Now it's just the normal black and white. Also, I have made the mine a little larger. Like normally it's this size, but I made mine a little larger so that you guys can see it easier while I'm filming. So hopefully that helps you out. But anyways, so the outline color, I'm going to use this little dropper over here. And I'm gonna go kind of grab a darker, oh, that's a little dark for me. <laughs> Maybe a darker color like that. And then the inner color, I like to go for a lighter color. Oops, that's wrong. <laughs> so kind of like that, it's so cute. And obviously you can do endless combinations, but that's basically how you do it. The outline and the filler, and then here's where you drag to make it different sizes. I just think that is so fun. That is something I've been wanting to do forever, but never could figure out how, and now it's an option. So I changed that to fit the vibe of my MacBook. Okay, next up, we are going to change the screensaver. So Mac OS Sonoma, there are all these new different screensavers that are moving, I should say. So let me show you as an example what mine is set at right now. <gasps> Isn't that just so pretty? Oh my gosh, I think I could stare at this for hours. Hours, <laughs> it's so pretty. And the detail of everything is gorgeous. So I have mine set as this because it's like a fall vibe to me, like autumn, forest, so pretty. And that kind of matches the vibes that I have going on here. So you do that by going to screensaver and here's how you can choose. So you have all these options. There's 61 landscape options, but I that one that I had was the Redwoods River. It's kind of fall to me but just wow, they are gorgeous. I think it also automatically gives you one when you first do the update. Yeah, you can play around with those and see what one you want. They are so pretty. Oh my gosh. And I have a whole different one to show you once we get to the different type of lock screen. But for now, this is what we're looking at with this one. There's just so many pretty ones, gorgeous. Okay, and then that also, sometimes I believe it'll show when you first sign into your MacBook and like type in the password, it'll show it there too. It's just so pretty that it does that whenever it's taking a break, you're going to sleep. I just am obsessed. Also, this wallpaper that you're seeing is something that I kind of designed a little bit for October. It is on my website, juliakchris.com, if you want to download this and twin. It's very easy to download. Tip number three, if you can't tell, my folder labels are on the right side instead of below them which is kind of fun. I thought it was very interesting. So to do this, all you have to do is click Command J on your keyboard, and then it'll bring up this little thing where you can also change the size of your folders um, and then the text size like underneath your folders. So that just made it really large. Now they're really small. Then here's where you choose label position, 
would be the bottom. Now they're back under it. Or to the right. Oh, and it messed up my position. <laughs> oh, it's really messing it up. Okay, anyways, that is how you do that. And now I need to fix them. I think that is so fun. I love finding little new ways to kind of personalize things and change it up from the normal. So I feel like that's a really good option for that. And also all of these folder icons for fall are going to be in my website as well under the folder icons tab. I have a bunch of new ones for fall. They're all so cute. You'll have to look at them and happy customizing with that. Tip number four, if you haven't seen, we can now have widgets on the MacBook screen. I'm so excited. This is widgets on the actual screen that are interactive, right? I can click it right off of it. Instead of having them just over in the notification bar, they're actually on your lock screen, which is absolutely amazing. I am just so excited about this and I love that you can interact with them straight off of the lock screen as well. So we will show you all how to do this. So Apple has it where if you right click, you can go down to edit widgets and here you can open up this whole option to customize things however you want it. And you can use all of their pre-made um, widgets down here. So fun. Um, but I have been liking using a different app. It's called Widget Wall. You have to download it from the App Store and then that will give you an option to customize so differently. So once you go and download that app, you will head up to your bar at the top and click on this little thing right here that shows, and then you can click add widgets, and then they have their own options that you can customize, which I think are just a little bit more cute. Some of you have to pay for, but I mostly use it just for the photos. It's really easy to use, so you just click and add it, and then they're little cats, but you will go up to these little three dots above it, and then you can import whatever photos you want to use. So I don't know, I'll just grab this quote that's also over there right here but yeah you can see that I just easily changed it and that's it really so I'm gonna delete that but you can make it medium or large and just really have fun with customizing that's actually kind of cute there um, have fun with customizing it and making it your own and kind of curating all your widgets and then also your desktop folder icons and just making all one big vibe that's my favorite thing to do. So if you want the same vibe that I have going on right here, I will have it all down again on my website. And then some of these widgets are from Pinterest. So those will be linked on my Pinterest as well. And then there's also a few other apps that have more options like Wid Widgetter. <laughs> I don't know. So this one, I haven't really messed around with much, but you can see that they have, oh, see this little calendar is so cute. I don't want premium, sorry. Okay, so this one, we just drag it straight onto our desktop. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Okay, cute. And then we can also drag the time. Okay, obviously I don't have any room with how, oh my gosh, oops. <laughs> with how much stuff I have going on with this wallpaper, but I think it'll be good with the other wallpaper. Okay, cute. Okay, and tip number five, we are going to hide the menu bar. So you're gonna go down to your settings and then you will go to control center right here. And then down here at the very bottom where it says automatically hide and show the menu bar. I have it on as always, but you can have in desktop only or in full screen only. The menu bar is this thing up at the top. So I don't know. It just, it kind of depends on your personal preference. So you can have it. I kind of like having it not there. It obviously will come up whenever you touch up there. That's kind of the same how I have my dock. I've shown that customization tip before in a previous video, but I kind of like not having it all as cluttered. So yeah, that's how I have it set. If you wanted to, you can do for always. And that is that tip. So now I'm going to scratch this, restart everything, and we are going to completely recustomize it from the ground up with a different pink vibe so that you guys can actually watch me do everything instead of me just saying it's all here. All right, so first up, we're gonna change the background and you'll head to my website if you wanna get the same wallpaper as me, but I have them downloaded right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, but I have so many cute ones, but I think I'm gonna go with this pink one 
it's like a gradient but like not crazy gradient i feel like it's like just a good blank space to work with whenever we're going to be using a bunch of widgets so love that next we're going to change up these folder icons i'm going to put them all vertically i think that's the vibe i want to go for with this one and then let's see these are all the cute fall icons that i have so definitely run to download these. Like, look at this cute pumpkin. That's adorable. But I'm gonna be using these ones because I'm gonna personalize this one to be my style. So we're gonna right click and change all our folder icons really fast. Okay, that is so adorable. I love those, especially with the titles off to the right. It's so cute. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly change the color of this to be different. I've shown this tip before for um, my other videos. It's in one of the other MacBook customizations. Oh, that's a little too hard to read. So what about we go with the green? Okay, cute. One thing that's driving me nuts with this new Mac OS Sonoma is the whole like you click on your screen and your stuff all disappears. It's kind of driving me crazy, but some people like it. I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna quickly go change my pointer by going to accessibility and then display and then the pointer down here. And I'm going to change the color real fast. Actually, I think that should be the inside. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, we're done with that. Now I'm going to add in some widgets. So we're going to go up to the widget wall widget and click add widgets. So I've added a little time. Don't really need a calculator, but I do want some photos. Oh my gosh, okay, we'll add. Oh, actually that little cat is so cute, but don't need it. Oh, okay, we're gonna go to import and then I've saved a few, but I'm gonna go with this little notebook. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we're getting somewhere, you guys. App shortcuts, okay, app shortcuts. Okay, I think that's good for now over here. Then I'm gonna go up to the next one, this other one, and I, okay, wait, this time I actually might be cuter. What do you guys think? Let's see, let's try them both. Oops, I always do that. <laughs> okay, I actually like that one a lot better. So we're gonna we're gonna delete this one. Sorry, widget wall. All right, and then since I don't have a wallpaper on this one, I'm gonna add in a little wallpaper. And I really liked the music one. So let's. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna close out of that. This is looking so good. Okay, I think these need to be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna do the command J to be able to look at that. And then try to make those as big as we can because they're just so cute. They need to be the main event. One of the main events, I guess. Okay. Now what else? We need to add a few more photos, I think, to make this really come together. Okay, wait, are everything centered like that kind of cute? Can I drag everything at once? Nope. Okay, maybe like a photo in here. You guys kind of get to see my creative process with all this. Okay, I'm gonna try and center all this a little bit. Actually, maybe I'm gonna put a long widget in there. Okay, I need to head to Pinterest. We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. We used to be each other's best friend. Okay, that is just like the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm so obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I kind of got in the in the vibe with doing my icons, but as you see, I usually just go to Pinterest and find some vibes that go together. Something that I think is helpful is looking up like whatever you're looking up and then adding the word aesthetic after it. So like I looked up pink aesthetic or I don't know, like ballerina aesthetic, something like that to kind of get these cute photos. 
especially like with fall I just look up fall aesthetic and it comes up easily so that's what I did for that another last thing we're going to do is we're going to head to our system settings and then I'm going to go to my screensaver and then here I have downloaded a different screensaver it's kind of like how I showed that one clock in my first ever MacBook customization video but it's just another downloadable thing so mine is the aura clock I bought it from this website they do have a free one but the pink one is not free so um let me show you i think that one like like one of these colors or something is free like it's like that but i love the pink which is the blush so i paid i think it was like five dollars i paid that just so i could get this cute pink screensaver so highly recommend and then this is what it looks like so fun but it usually has the time i don't know where the time is that time but yeah Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. I love it. I am so happy with it. I can just play my music from down here, have some cute motivating widgets to remind me to do stuff for myself every once in a while, the to-do list here. The only other thing I'm kind of thinking of is adding in my reminders by going to edit widgets and then going to... Okay, I just added a notion widget. Um, because I plan out my content, so I'm gonna see what that looks like after I also add in one of my reminders ones. So we're gonna also add in this one, but then I need to switch out with my pink to-do list. All right. Oh, this. I hate this. Let's fix that. So whenever it's like not being looked at I guess it like goes to this monochrome so to fix that we're gonna go to system settings and then down to desktop desktop and dock and then down here you can access the widgets you can also add in your iPhone widgets if you guys wanted to use the um, widget smith app too but okay here it's automatic or monochrome or full color and I'm gonna click full color so now it's not shaded gray anymore so Thank goodness, I did not like that. Um, but yeah, okay, let's add these in here where we can. Those are just the cutest thing. Okay, adorable! I love this, and now I can click off this and add to it and everything. So, okay. That's so perfect. This I can click on and it's gonna take me to my Notion board um, about my content plan and everything. So that is so helpful. I just love how this can actually like help me and make me be more productive and organized in my life by having useful widgets that I can actually do stuff from, but it also looks cute. I am just so obsessed. Again, if this video helped y'all in any way, please give it a thumbs up and I want you guys to comment if you've made it this far, if you liked the pink vibe or the fall vibe better between the two aesthetics that I created for you today. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.